Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay is in Pasadena, California to help a struggling Jamaican restaurant. That is disgusting crap. It's an insult to Jamaica. Proud owner Dr. Una Morris runs her restaurant with an iron fist. I'm coming in because I don't like what's going on. Micromanaging every detail. This cannot be like this. Are you working on this? Get it out now. On top of that, her practices are completely bizarre. You're running a hospital kitchen full of bags. And she listens to no one, not even her son. I've been telling you since day one. Jamaican food cannot be cooked fresh every day. Chef Ramsay is in for a battle. L let me finish. Let me finish my sentence first. That might be impossible to win. I would walk into your hospital and attempt to tell you your job. I, I am telling you. Gordon tries to give the doctor a prescription for success. I'm here to help you. You know, you don't understand what I'm going through. But she might just be too stubborn to accept it. You're in denial. I'm not in denial. Tonight <laughs> on Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> Pasadena, California, home to the Kingston Cafe, an authentic Jamaican restaurant owned by Dr. Una Morris, who not only is a practicing radiologist, but is a three-time Olympian. All my life, I was able to accomplish the things I really wanted to do. And so I've started the restaurant because I really enjoy cooking, and there were no other Jamaican restaurant around. When the grill jam steak, medium rare. You know, my son is the manager, but we don't necessarily see things eye to eye. Keone, please be quiet. I'm talking. She doesn't really listen to my suggestions, and I've gotten to a point where you know, I can't deal with this. Everything has to be cooked to order. That's, like the, that's You can't, you can't cook everything yes, to order. Can. Impossible, oh, not here. She micromanages. She's focusing on small details like tablecloths being an inch off. It's not even. See, one side over there is long and the other. But the biggest focus should be why don't we have any more customers? I still see dusts. All of these have to change. See, you have to set standard. If you don't set standard, how you expect something to run well? These knife and forks are unacceptable. And I don't like how some of these look. You see? Sorry, Dr. Morris. Like everyone gets a bit nervous when she's around, even myself. Dad, yes. they need their food it's now. Not... There are four people out there who haven't even gotten their second yet. Lots of cooks come in and out. They're there for one day, then you never see them again. Remember, the salt is one of the most important things. Not everybody can cook Jamaican food. We can't sell this. I don't like how it tastes at all. It's kind of hard for someone to expect you to do a job, and then they keep stepping in and not allowing you to do it. Mom, mom, you gotta, you gotta let them work. That's not gonna happen. When she's in the kitchen, it slows things down. This cannot be like this. The planting is hanging over the edges. It creates a conflict when getting plates out, and then we have to deal with the customers who are not happy. Sorry about the we. It's cold. The restaurant's drowning, and we're all going down with it. If we don't get no customers, be lucky if you get five tables in all day. I oh, know, it's bad, isn't it? If it doesn't change soon, it's, it's going to die. I cannot sleep because I have so much debt, and my money from my retirement has almost dried up. Keone convinced me that Gordon Ramsay would help the restaurant. Something has to be done. Chef Ramsay is my last resort. After a phone call early this morning, Chef Ramsay decides to make a detour before heading to the restaurant. How are you, sir? I'm all right. Good to see you. Dr. Morris's son, Keone, has requested a meeting, and Chef Ramsay has obliged. How's it going? Um, difficult times. Really? For sure. Probably doing about 30% of what we were doing over the summer. Wow. What's the number one problem, Kioni, in the restaurant? What is it? I would say my mother's management. Really? Well, she's very much a micromanager and likes to rule with the iron fist. If I implement something, she would get angry and she would want to implement her version of way of doing things. Oh, dear. That's mixed messages. And more importantly, how confusing for not just the customers, but for the team. Exactly. Like, you have to realize, like, she came from Jamaica, essentially by herself. She's a physician in radiology. Okay, fantastic. Um, she's been to the Olympics. Olympics? She, yes. That is one disciplined woman. Right? So she's so, tough? Yeah, absolutely. How she's tough nails. on a scale of 1 to 10? 35. Oh, jeez. Yeah. 
my mom. What she says goes, and it definitely does have its strain on the business. It looks like a, a residence. I would have driven right by it. Hey, mom. Th that's too small. That is too small. You can't set okay, it. Okay, another one. Let's go. Let's go. That's hey, mom. too small. Can I take over in here no, for no, a no, second? No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Just one. You can hardly recognize there's a restaurant out there. <laughs> it looks like a house from the outside. Yeah. It doesn't look like a restaurant. It's very homey. Uh, where are we going? We're going to the main dining room. Oh, okay, main <laughs> dining room. Right. It's a strange entrance. Hello. Dr. Morris. How are you? I'm really blessed seeing you. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. My name is Yuna, but everybody has called me Dr. Morris. Wow. Okay. Doctor. Good to see you. What's that in there? That's curry goat. Excellent. Who made that? The chef, under the supervision of me. Wow. And are you always in the kitchen, or...? I, I do everything, just to make sure everything runs OK. Right. And who's the head chef? That would be me. Young man? Uh, nice Good to meet you. you. And first name is? Daniel. The menu was designed by... Are oh, you doing the menu? Yes. Good to meet you all. Can't wait to taste it. Thank you. And here's Excellent. the lunch menu. Thank you very much. And your server will be right with you. Thank you. Well, wow. bizarre menu. Like something out of an office filing cabinet. Hi there. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you? Oh, very well, thank you. I'm Matthew. Great, great accent. Thank you. How long have you been here? Almost two years. I met Dr. Morris. Dr. Morris can be a little overbearing sometimes. It's just the way she wants everything to be perfect. Why do we have to call a doctor? Uh, that's just... She's Dr. Morris. But even in a restaurant? Yes. The doctor's office is next door. What, literally next door? Literally next door. What a headache. Oh, believe me. I think she's really taken on too much. I personally think she's slowly but surely running herself into an early grave. We have salad that needs to take out yeah. now. It's for Matthew. It doesn't matter. It needs to be no, taken we're, out. No, we're taking it right now. So I'll go for the uh, Jamaican patties. One veg mm -hmm. and one beef. Mm -hmm. Got to, got to, got to have the hot flashes. OK, yeah. so... Which is your jerk chicken, right? That's our signature dish, yes. It looks like you're having some hot flashes. Are you all yeah. right? Yeah. It's hot in here. Is it? Yeah. Plus, it's wearing this get-up as well. I mean, I feel like I'm at a funeral sometimes when I come to work. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Famous jerk chicken married in secret jerk sauce. What's the secret behind it? Uh, the owner of the restaurant makes the sauce. Really? The owner pretty much does everything. I'm not even sure the cooks even make the sauce. Seriously? The chef doesn't even know the secret behind the sauce? No. Uh, ooh la la. I just spotted, mind you, $20. That can't be right. Well, it must be a phenomenal oxtail at $20. Yeah, it's good. Let's have that as well. OK. Excellent. Now, Thank stop you. sweating. Yeah. And relax. Hot. OK, let's see what we got, guys. Two Jamaican patties, uh, one beef, one veggie, your chicken, and one oxtail. OK, let's go, you guys. We yeah. need to get the Jamaican patties first, please. Yes, Dr. Morris. Everything's soulless. It's... It's lacking charm, and it's like eating inside of a, an office block. Not good. T tell them let's go. They're, they're going. They can't go any faster. Do you have the jerk sauce? I'm running out right now. Dan. Yes, Dr. Morris. We need the next plate. Are you working on this? Yes, Dr. Morris. OK. Beef patty? Yep. With a little, little bit of mild jerk sauce there. And this is the veggie patty. OK, I'll leave you to enjoy those. Thank you. Absolutely gross. That sauce is dreadful. The pastry's raw. Soggy pile of dough. They would fucking kidnap me if I served that in Jamaica right now. How are the patties? Um, the sauce is dreadful. I don't like it myself. It's like a gloop. The sad news about the pate, the pastry's undercooked. It's hideous, hideous. Let me get rid of these for you. And this one is? The jerk chicken hot flashes. Is that the same sauce? Yes. Take that away, please, honey. Take this away. You yes, got please. it. Thank you. Look at my rice. It looks like a silicon implant. Perfectly formed. Ugh. Guys, do not put any more jerk sauce on his plate. He hates it. Ooh, nasty. Not an ounce of seasoning there. Cold. How's our signature dish? Bland as fuck. Cold chicken. Disgusting overcooked rice, and when was that chicken cooked? I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. Go and ask doctor. This is dry as hell. Will do. Thank you. When was the chicken made, Dr. Morris? What, he, he didn't like it? No, he said it was dry. You know why? Jerk chicken is dry in Jamaica. 
It's supposed to be dry. He doesn't eat Jamaican food every day. I eat it every day. So I don't know what he knows of jerk chicken. This is our oxtail stewed in lima beans. Uh, cartilage everywhere. What a mess. $20. How's the uh, oxtail? Sadly, nothing's been trimmed, so it's full of fat, bland, and the temperature. I mean, everything across the board here was sort of barely lukewarm. OK, let me get rid of that for you. What an embarrassment. It sucks, man. Like, I've, I've made points about this. Like Everything they said, you've already said before. Huh? Yeah. I'm just glad that I was right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You're on the right side. Huh? Exactly. OK. <laughs> Doctor, I would like a word with you. I'm not afraid of Chef Ramsay. I'd like to talk to you and Kieran. Even if he had horns, I wouldn't be afraid of him. OK. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I walk in a dining room that felt cold and just flat. When the food arrived, soulless. Everything was horrendous. Barely lukewarm, dry and tasteless. It's an insult to Jamaica. The patties, the actual pastry on the side was raw. As for the jerk sauce, disgusting. I'm going to say this. Um, from the get-go, I always thought that everything should be fresh cooked to order. OK, Keone, Keone, could you be quiet? He's talking. <laughs> OK, let's move on, shall we? I've got bigger issues. Honestly, hot flashes? Isn't that a system of menopause? You not, can... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It depends on how you perceive it. Forget the strange name. That dreadful jerk chicken. Dry. Just a minute. Let me set you straight. Most jerk chicken in Jamaica are dry. In That's Jamaica, right. as a matter of fact, dry I, let me finish. I feel that the jerk chicken that we do are more moist than the one they do in right. Jamaica. Now, let me tell you something also. L let me finish. Let me finish my sentence first. Mostly dry, I can accept. Dry and edible, I can't. I'm ready for an argument because I am not going to sit here and kiss your ass for trying to tell me that is a Jamaican jerk chicken. I'm telling you're trying you, to lecture no, me. No, 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 I'm not trying to lecture you. I wouldn't I'm walk into your hospital you and attempt to tell you your job. I, I am telling you. I don't know what kind of herb from Jamaica you've been smoking, but that is disgusting crap. Chef Ramsay came to this Jamaican restaurant hoping to find food rich in flavor, but instead it was bland as fuck. Not surprisingly, he had a heated discussion with the owner. Most jerk chicken in Jamaica are dry. Let me tell you something also. L let me finish. Let me finish my sentence first. That is disgusting it's crap. Dry. Still with a bad taste in his mouth, Chef Ramsay returns to Kingston Cafe to see how it operates in a dinner service. Where does the food um, serve from? The window? It's right there. That's the window there. You're kidding me. Try to work with what we got. Jesus Christ. Exactly. Stuff, jerk, coconut rum, shrimp. As the first orders come into the kitchen... OK, let's go, you guys. Let's go. Kingston Cafe's complimentary salads get sent out to the diners. Folks, your first course comes with every meal. It's yeah. difficult to eat out of this glass. The salad I ordered, is it going to be, like, similar to this? It's going to be a little similar. It is. Can I change my order? Sure. What the fuck is that in the martini glass? The salad. Salad? Daniel. Yes. Who put the salad in a martini glass? Is there a doctor in the house? How many glasses? There's trays in the corner there that they take. Oh, my God. You are kidding me. Jesus Christ. Who's doing all this? Oh, my good God. Um, Gordon, if you continue like that, Jesus Christ actually going to appear. I hope so, because I think that's what's needed right now. Dressing a salad takes seconds. Tell me what's wrong with that. It gets soggy and it's Thank nasty. You. Turn around and tell the owner. It's soggy and it's nasty. It doesn't mean that it's really bad because he's never seen something like this before. I want you dressing the salad in a bowl. Okay. Okay. Even though he was just planning on observing, Chef Ramsay can't control himself and institutes his first change. We've got fresh salads dressed to order and in a bowl. Well done. Yeah. Excellent. But Dr. Morris... Make sure it is warm. ...is still the woman in charge. Can we give a better piece of chicken? I don't like it. Micromanaging whenever and wherever possible. Is that warm? It tastes like cardboard. This is no. not Jamaican. There's no taste. 
Can I have another piece of chicken? I don't like this. You don't like this? Okay. They didn't oh, like this. We said that the two old people right here. If they're not Jamaican, they're not gonna like it. Dr. Morris doesn't really like to hear a lot of complaints about the food. She does what she knows and wants to do. What is that there? Chicken breast. Daniel. Yes. When was that cooked? That was cooked yesterday. Jesus Christ. Doctor. Yes. I can't believe we're doing this. That was cooked last night. It looks like a giraffe's tongue. OK. It makes me feel validated, I guess, that the points that I've been making for months are the points that he's making now. Do you have a dog at home? Don't feed them that. Keone, just come over here. OK. Now. Keone, he's really getting me very upset. Suppose I punch him out. Because let me finish. He's right on. Let me finish, Keone. All I'm he out. did, um, Keone, please might... be quiet. First of all, he wants us to cook everything fresh. Why can't you do that? You can't. Yes, you can. Jamaican food cannot be cooked fresh every day. Do you understand that? Mom, we'll finish this later. <sighs> what is that there? Oh, my God, you are kidding me. Bags everywhere. Christ almighty. Oh, please. What's that in the microwave? Rice. When was that cooked? Four days ago. When I first worked here, I was like, oh, no. Really? Bags? Come on. What's the addiction to bags? Is it a medical thing, like donating blood in bags? Or everything we've got is, like, in bags. Where do you want to put it then? If you're now going to tell me that rice stays better in a bag inside the steamer, madam, I'm really sorry, but you've lost the plot. I don't like when you disrespect me. So if you can tell me where you think I've disrespected you. You told me that I was crazy upstairs. I'm, I'll tell you why. The practices and how you're running a restaurant is packed with stupidity. I didn't say that you are demented. Didn't say anything like that at all. No. You. You specifically okay. say like this. You're... That's what you okay. said to me. Right. Do you now, hear what I said? If, let me finish. If I say that to you, how yes. would you feel? I'm not a delicate, dainty flower. It's going to take everything you say personally. But let me tell you something. The practices are ludicrous. Can I just show you something? Ready? No answer. Just, just feel that. It's frozen. It couldn't be frozen. Well, OK. OK. It should, not, it, sh it should not be frozen. Okay. Well, it is frozen. No, no, no. No, don't tell me. Okay, no, okay. Let me, let me, another show. No, I've got to finish my sentence. Frozen, solid, disgusting, overcooked chicken. You're resisting it. That's fine. No, no, no. I'm trying to say it should not be frozen. If they did it right. yesterday. I understand. Okay. But I've just told you it is. Right now, you're running a hospital kitchen full of bags. Fuck that. I'm out of here. You may say I'm crazy. But certain things he says about Jamaican food, I disagree with him. So I'm not crazy. I think the doctor needs a doctor. Who put the salad in a martini glass? After a very revealing dinner service, you're running a hospital kitchen full of bags. Chef Ramsay knows that Kingston Cafe will never overcome its problems unless Dr. Morris realizes she is causing the sickness, not the cure. So mission number one this morning is a quick visit to the doctor's office, located right next door to the restaurant. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Do you mind if I come in? Come on in. When Chef Ramsey came to my office, I was surprised because I did not expect him to come back. OK, you're so smart, but you're unaware of the dramatic change that's needed to reposition this business. Why are you so stubborn? I'm not stubborn. The practices you thought were correct last night are backwards. You're in denial. Well, um, I'm not in denial because I, I'm not in denial. I'm not here to fight you. Well, I'm here to help you. OK. Just help me understand where you are financially. What have you put into that restaurant in the last three years? Probably over $300,000. You know, I've just been using my credit card. I've borrowed money to just to maintain the restaurant. So how much longer can you continue along these lines? Probably a month, but that doesn't mean I'm going to quit. Well, you may not have a choice. Does your team, does your son, does your management understand? My, OK, my son doesn't tell you the honest truth. 
my son is only telling you what he thinks well, you want to hear. I appreciate you telling me. He doesn't tell you that he's not dependable and doesn't show up. Really? No, he doesn't. You don't understand. Well, I won't understand unless you tell me. You know, you don't understand what I'm going through. You ask him to do anything, he argues. If I say A, he argues about B. Do you know how I'm hurt that I have my kids who I have sacrificed my life for? And they don't follow through on things that they need to do. And I have to be doing everything. Well, this is a huge amount of pressure on one pair of shoulders. Isn't Keone worried about you in terms of? I don't think he does. I think the servers worry about me more than my son does. And you know what hurts me is because my mom died when I was 10. And I didn't have a mom when I grew up. And I just grew up and be determined to be somebody when I grew up. And you are. And you did it. And you accomplished it. Former Olympian, radiologist, doctor, come on. Don't let the negativity in the restaurant destroy your self-esteem. No wonder you're agitated. No wonder you're deeply concerned. The pressure on your shoulders is ridiculous. And you've done everything before this restaurant right in your life. You've got every right to continue with that self-esteem. And you're not going to be dragged down by that restaurant. This may be the first time in your life, Doctor, that you need help. And I'm here to do that for you. OK? I appreciate that. Let's not clash. I'm here to help. OK. OK? I appreciate that. Good. And I'm sorry. I appreciate your honesty. Don't be sorry. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. I really feel like I can trust him now. And that really means a lot to me. Because I'm, I'm not used to asking for help. <laughs> Yuna's in pain. She's desperate and she's got so much riding on her shoulders. The big question for me is, how committed is her son to helping his mum? Kioni. Yeah? I'm going to get straight to the point. What do you want out of this restaurant? And how much are you committed to helping it turn around. If you would have met me when the restaurant first opened, it would have been a completely different vibe. In you what know? way? I mean, like, I was really passionate about this thing. I really was. I was like, look, mom, this is a viable business. And I pushed so hard for it. And I wanted her to see that I was right. But she doesn't want to approach the business in a way that'll make it work. You seem to be in competition with your mother. It's, it's the nature of our relationship. Are you aware of the financial mess that your mother's in? She won't tell me. This place is days away from closing. She has horrendous credit card bills. Right. Her retirement's in jeopardy. And let me tell you something. The most important lady in my life is my mother. Right. And what she's done for me has been extraordinary. Hasn't your mum done more than you could ever imagine? Absolutely. And that's coming from a lady that had no mum. So drop the bravado and focus on your family, because if this restaurant goes down, you're going down with it. Got it? All right. Thank you. He's definitely right, and I know that she needs help. Love my mother to death, and I'm not leaving you know, her to handle this by herself. After important breakthrough conversations with Yuna and Keone... Oh, my gosh! Chef Ramsay looks to energize the restaurant and improve the quality of the food. So tonight's dinner service will feature a barbecue on the patio with Keone at the helm. That's what we'll be wearing later. Don't dirty it. All right. I want everyone in the neighborhood lifting their windows up and... Mm, wow, where's that smell coming from? By running a delicious barbecue outside, Wait, Chef Ramsay Wait, wants Yuna to realize the merits of serving Jamaican food that is not only completely fresh, but rich in flavor. So the restaurant's running in the restaurant, and the barbecue's taking place on the patio. Yeah. Any questions? No, Chef. OK, jump in, have a little taste. Wow, that looks amazing. It smells good out yeah, here. The chicken is good. That means a lot coming from you. <laughs> it is. I like the chicken. It's different, but it was good. I would give him a B plus. 
but I'm worried because people come in like the other one also, so you don't want to change too much. OK, you excited? Yeah, yes. very yes. much. Good. Let's go, because we're opening in half an hour. As the doors open for dinner, customers are offered the regular menu in the dining room or the special barbecue menu served on the patio. At any time, you can just go up and start serving yourself. Roasted corn with chili lime butter. The colors and the smells, everything was vibrant and exciting. That looks so good. It's pretty phenomenal. It's a really good idea, though. While Keone oversees the barbecue, which is already generating excitement. I need shrimp. They're defrosting right now. Head chef Daniel and the kitchen staff are unfortunately stuck in their same old habits. What in the fuck is that? Cups and bags, cups and bags. I thought the only thing that went in bags were bodies. I hate those bags. Ugh. Oh, gross. So where's the fresh rice for tonight? We're using the same rice that we made yesterday. Oh, no. Fucking hell. I'm extremely frustrated. I wanted to make fresh beans and rice today. It was not the decision Dr. Morris wanted to make. We've got no fresh rice on there. OK. And apparently, doctor's orders are use the old rice in the bank. I I'm sorry. Oh. No. Hope they get our food out soon. <laughs> In spite of the frequent use of the microwave... Guys, it's been 20 minutes on an order of Rudy shrimp. We're just waiting for it. The kitchen struggles to get food out to their customers. I could have grown a beard by the time they bring my meal. <laughs> In the dining room, the, the atmosphere was a little, like, down, where the food kept taking so long. People just weren't generally happy, whereas when I poked my head outside to the patio, people were laughing, they were having fun. It was almost like two different restaurants tonight. That is that was really good, uh, really good chicken. Though. Jody, great news. Look how popular the barbecue's becoming. Right. And that smell, mmm, nice. Makes you feel like you're back in Jamaica. <laughs> huh? From Jamaica to depressing. After what seemed like an eternity, customers in the dining room are finally receiving their food. Uh, but it doesn't appear to be worth the wait. The fish is really dry. I think mm -hmm. it may be overcooked. Overcooked? OK, I'll let them know right now. What's wrong with that? They said it's too dry and overcooked. It's just gone out. Daniel. What? She just wants to try something else. What? Jeez, recommend the barbecue. We've got a stunning piece of salmon out there cooked perfectly. You want to try that? Go and get it now, quickly. OK. Dry and overcooked. Is that still the, is that the frozen stuff? Yes, that's the frozen stuff. It's rubbery. She's absolutely right. Thoroughly frustrated, Chef Ramsay jumps into action and puts together an entree of barbecue salmon. Let's hope she enjoys. All right. I can't believe we're serving barbecue food in the dining room. There we are. Chef Ramsay plated it for you. Oh my God. So there you are. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh my God. That's so good. Oh, excuse me. How is that? It's great. Is it great? It's the barbecue. Oh my God. Next time, patio. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you. Do you know? Please. The smell. Yeah, it's beautiful. The fresh barbecue. And the verse out here is wonderful. It's beautiful. I really appreciate good. it. Good, good, Thank good, good. You. Change is not easy, you know, but I was really impressed with how many people enjoy the barbecue tonight. So I'm willing to allow him to tell me how I can make it better. Okay. Tonight was a tale of two restaurants. Una, let's hear from the boss. Everybody out in the patio were very pleased. Inside, that was different. Inside, everything was bad. Yeah, you're right. We did confirm the barbecue worked, clearly. Tonight, we added something. But we might have to take something away, because it's been bugging me from the first minute I walked in here. Hang on a second, yeah? Irritating, bloody hell. What is it? <laughs> Does anybody know? Could it be? What, what the fuck is going on? Oh, gosh. Fed up with the amount of food that is being reheated. Oh, my God. You are kidding me. Chef Ramsay... Have to take something away. Hang on a second, yeah? ...is determined to get rid of this damaging practice. Oh, shit. There's more plastic here than in Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to your bags. Looking at all that food, the first thing that comes to me was dollars. Yuna. Yes? I want you to succeed. Tonight, it stops. We get rid of the bags. We have a simple practice of cooking raw ingredients on the day and serving them. Trust me, if we don't make 
major changes. On relaunching this restaurant, we don't stand a hope in hell. Good night. See you in the morning. Good night, Chef. Thank you. Jesus. It was kind of hard to take. I don't think it's really going to work out, Dr. Morris. But he's, he wants me to trust him. So I'm going to do that. With Dr. Morris seemingly on board, Chef Ramsay and his team spend the next nine overnight hours bringing the Caribbean spirit into Kingston Cafe. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here on this very patio, we had a taste of success, right? Yeah. Yep. Now the idea is to get that success in through there. Ready? Yeah. Yep. Let's go. In we go. Straight through. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Jump in, gosh. jump in, jump in. Wow. Holy Toledo. Look at that. how do you feel? This is fantastic. Chef Ramsay transformed this entire room into the Caribbean. Let's start with the Caribbean blue. We removed the artwork from the walls and got that cabana effect, that Caribbean feel, yes? Oh, my God. I feel like I'm at the beach. You know, all I need now is a nice cocktail in my hand, and it'll be a great day. Oh, my God. Una, if you say, oh, my God, any more times, trust me, he will appear. <laughs> the first thing you said to me when I arrived, good God. If you continue like that, Jesus Christ actually going to appear. <laughs> oh, my God. Have a look at the tabletops. Gone is that white linen. It's a casual, exciting, fun, inviting dining room. We've got some really nice woven steel placemats and beautiful china. And look what's on every table. Yoo-hoo! It's Jamaican yeah. jerk sauce. That's brilliant. Oh, oh I'm so wow. happy. I know it. Oh, oh thank you. Now, it's pretty phenomenal. I'm completely happy for my mother. You know, that's the biggest thing. Along with the new decor, Chef Ramsay has replaced the tasteless, uninspiring old menu, and in its place, a tasty, fresh menu that celebrates Caribbean cuisine. Please take a look at the Kingston Cafe. Oh, my god! New dishes. That is so beautiful. Just have a look at the vibrant colors first off. Yes, it's real beautiful. More importantly, it's fresh. A taste of Jamaican platy for everything on there you could wish for in a Jamaican restaurant, yeah? The patties are phenomenal. The Kingston special barbecue that will be done from outside. Barbecue chicken, kingfish, and a tamarind marinated skirt steak. It's beautiful. It looks good, right? Oh yes. yes. So are you going to look good? Because we have a little fun with these. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. 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 Look at that. <laughs> Matt, when you sweat in black, we won't see it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes? Yes. Now, hold that. Pass them along. They've got your names in there. This shirt's definitely more casual feel than the white shirt and tie, and I really think this has got to go. Start tasting. That fish is perfect. Uh -huh. Yeah. It really is. This is the best Jamaican food I've ever had. This is actually probably the best food full stop I've ever had. I love it. Mm -hmm. Taste this. Chef Ramsay has opened so many avenues for me that I could never, ever repay him for his kindness. One more little surprise come through. When I first arrived driving by, I missed the place. It wasn't clear enough. Time to make a statement to Pasadena. Ready? Oh, yeah! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, it's wow. beautiful. You can see it from miles away. Yes, that's true. Okay. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It was really exciting seeing a new sign that was so visible and colorful. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it so much. Now, there's no way that anybody cannot see the sign. Let's make this service an amazing service, yes? OK. With Chef Ramsay's vision complete, it's time to relaunch this Pasadena restaurant. How are you guys today? Good. Yes. Welcome to the new and improved Kingston Cafe. As you can see, we've got the new menus down. I'll go with the jerk chicken, the barbecue. We're going to do a Taste of Jamaica. All right, here we go. All right, you guys, we've got a uh, Taste of Jamaican platter, barbecued uh, jerk chicken, barbecued tamara skirt steak. May I have some chips, please? Only minutes into dinner service. Imani, appetizer platter. Appetizers are leaving the kitchen at a steady pace. Tuna ceviche and lobster fritters are going to come. It's really good. And more importantly, customers are thrilled with what they are receiving. That is so good, isn't it? 
But the real pressure is about to hit. We're getting backed up on tickets. Jesus Christ. And head chef Daniel is already a little flustered. Come K-13. on, guys. K-13. K-13? They already got their food. K-13 already got their food. Oh, no. K-13 has already had their food. Why are we sending food twice? Who's organizing this? It is me. I need one person to start taking control. Yes, yes. I beg you. Yes. What table's going next, please? That is for P4. So P4, good. So let's let's all sing off the same page. Yes. And we send P4 together. Yes. I was mixing up some orders, sending things to the wrong tables. And that's that's unexcusable. Let's do the red snapper. I've got that. Here. We'll go red snapper. Okay. Oh no. It's black as hell. Why? It overcooked. No, no, I'm sorry, look at, Chef. Look at me. Just tell me why, so I can help you. I let me. I so want you to succeed. So do I, Chef. Not I'm serving sorry. food like that, you don't. It's relaunch night at the Kingston Cafe, and after a promising start. Oh no. Head chef Daniel has lost his composure. Jesus Christ. And his standards. It's black as hell. Things just weren't going the way we thought they would. It overcooked. And you gave it to the girl to send. I let me redo it. That table over there, they were seated after us, and they have already eaten. The food wasn't coming out on time, and it made us look bad. It was going downhill fast. Guys, I'm sorry about this, guys. I can assure you it is coming out. OK, Keanu, what about the people been here for our? Mom, what can I do? Just two seconds, look, two seconds, come here. I need someone getting a grip of this now and fucking waking them up because we're gonna make ourselves look stupid. Right. Yeah, Dan's gotta step up to the plate. Yeah. And you need to get them together a little bit, yeah? Rally right. them round, yeah? Alright. Yeah, we're sinking and we're falling behind. Alright. Dan, How please just make sure that anything that you're doing, you're doing two up or three up. Because I understand we're falling that. behind. Keone's your man. Exactly. UBA's yes. Yes. off the same fucking page. Yes, yeah. This is what I need you guys to start doing. Get yeah. bowls of chips and we're gonna start giving them to the table so they can munch on them while they're waiting on the food, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody gets chips. Here's a little chips to hold you over. This is really good. Hey, guys, there's also dessert that's floating around. OK, so make somebody else do it. Mom, mom. Give me the ticket. I take it in the back and get no, it done. No, mom, no. You're not knowing what's going on, mom. Hmm. I definitely want my mom to understand I can make this thing work. Walk around, talk to the guests. You're more important I than I can't talk to them no, because no, there's no, no food. No, 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 you can't, mom. You can't want to argue with you. You like to argue too This much. isn't an argument. OK, what number is this, K-7? Seven, mom, 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 stand away from this area. You can't help, Mom, not right now. I need two seconds with you, please. The shrimp um, came back right now. Got to let him do it. Okay. Got to let Keone do it. He's trying. Thank you. Yeah, he's showing that level of commitment. Let him do it. Okay. Smooth the dying room, OK? 30 seconds bobbing around each little table. OK, let him do it. Let him find his voice. I just want to finish this order right here, guys. It's going too slow, Dan. Yeah, I understand that. You can put more shrimp in there than that, right? No, I can't. I see two. You can at least fit one more in there. This is almost an hour on this ticket. There you go. Keone's leadership has helped stabilize the kitchen. Can you work on four beef patties and two jerk wings? Allowing customers to finally get a taste of the new Kingston Cafe. Oh, oh, that looks amazing. Oh, my God. Wow, beautiful. I have the prettiest way. I need uh, another coconut rum shrimp. Finally. I would definitely come back just for this. We just need to finish this. How is everybody doing? We love it. We're enjoying just that ambiance. Good. I really appreciate that. I guarantee to you, it, we're going to be so much faster and better, OK? The fact that I have opened up and is committed to keep his menu, that's a big thing for me. Well, let me tell you, I grew up on patties in Jamaica, in Kingston. That squash patty was absolutely amazing. It took me back to my childhood days. Really? Yes. yes thank you, guys. Thank you. Great. All right, guys, dinner service is over. Yeah, great. OK, what a night, yeah? But we had a buzz out there on the patio and a buzz in the dining room, right? The customers clearly loved the food. That's good. Clearly, we did have our problems. <sighs> But there was one person that did step up and helped in a big way to turn things around. Keone. Thank you. Well done, boss. Yes. Thank you, Keone. Good job. Tonight, Keone really stepped up to the plate. I'm so proud of them. He did a fantastic job. To all of you, cook your hearts out and serve with a smile. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Gordon. Oh, no, can I just do a little word with you through there? Yes? Thank you. 
It's been a gigantic step forward, and we are only going to get better. Now, Keone, he proved he's capable. Oh, yeah. I know he is. Very intelligent young man. I know, but you have a tough decision in front. If you're going to make him part of the business, then commit to doing that. Okay. Either you make him feel like a partner in the business, or you let him go. You cut the apron strings. One or the other. OK? OK. Your decision. OK. Now, there's one more thing. Do you fancy a race? Oh, you want to run? Yeah. OK, come. Now I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, God. No. God bless you. Initially, I didn't like Chef Ramsay. I'm telling I'm you. to let you no. Let me finish. But now I realize yes. that he has a wonderful nice. heart. He's going to be so proud of us when he comes back. What a week. My goodness me. I only hope that this Olympian, Dr. Mother, can now add successful restaurateur to her resume. Why? Because she deserves it. Big time. Let me finish. Let me finish. Shortly after Chef Ramsay's departure, Yuna decided to encourage Keone to concentrate on his education and step back from the restaurant. And you know, I'll always love you. Don't care, you and I fight, and I, you know? Of course. Yuna, however, is more dedicated than ever. She is committed to cooking fresh, collaborating with her staff, and maintaining the standards Chef Ramsay put in place. Please enjoy it. As long as I follow what Coach Ramsay explained to me what we need to do. It has to look good and it has to taste good. The future of Kingston Cafe looks great. Next time on Kitchen Nightmares, a sibling rivalry threatens a legacy that spans four decades. Every day is a fight. Chef Ramsay must break through the jealousy. She shouldn't even be here. The anger. They can't work together. And the resistance. You don't give a shit. So we can fix this French restaurant. Have you given up? Before it tears this family apart. I can't keep going. You better get a grip. Things don't need to change. That's next time on an emotional Kitchen Nightmares.